Have you ever wondered why some people are attracting money so easily to them? Why some people are broke and some others, they make money as if they are eating an ice cream. In today's video, I want to talk to you about money. Why is this a subject that we never, never discuss at school? Why they do not teach us investing, budgeting, at least budgeting money? Or what is money from where it comes from? Money is everywhere. Governments print as much money they want. Why some people, they limit themselves? Have you ever understood why? Why? People like Donald Trump lost billions just to remake them. We often see people from the lottery, won the lottery and then they go back to initial state, which is broke. Because their mindset and their comfort zone is to be broke. So their mind is working to bring them back to this state. Money blueprint is really important. You can change your mindset whenever you want. Nobody limits you. You can change your brand. You can change your identity. You can literally even change your name, change the country that you live. No one holds you. You have to really stretch your brain. Be open to suggestions because suggestion is what will rewire your brain. I've read this book from Yoval Homo Sapiens. Very nice book even though a questionable book, human history, right? So it has to be a questionable book. He gathered the whole information, speaks about the humankind. Hey, we are built to imagine, visualize here from this brain. Money is energy, literally. Money is energy. Energy travels in frequency. I like to see the universe as Alexa or Siri, whatever you like, call it. Speak out loud as if God listens to you. Whenever you say out loud, I can't afford this, I can't do this. Whenever you are afraid to spend money or you're checking your bank account like, oh, you know, guess what? You're reliving this experience. So simple. We live a life which we're blessed to live this life based on our experience, on thoughts, beliefs that we have back in the time when uh, living with the lion we have some strong beliefs otherwise if we go around like that we will have been eaten by the lion humans have to form strong beliefs and have some fear in order to survive but now that's not the case we have to be slow down and not have so much fear replace fear with courage and see your life changing think your brain as a computer your thoughts are like files of information that you receive when you were a child from your environment whether that is your culture your school your society family if you grew up with scarcity mindset people, people that they have limitations in their minds, probably you adapt their thinking. But it's very possible, very, very possible to rewire your brain and change the whole belief system that you have. The younger you are, the better. What you hear, what you experience, what they told you about money, all of this. So if you hear uh, money is the root of all evil, also another thing, superstitions. To delete superstitions, don't believe them because they go in your mind and then you gotta manifest them. For what you thinking i'm not telling you here just to be like a little butterfly in the world and go around and be i'm happy i'm thinking positive you can't you're a human having a human experience so sometimes you things can go in a shitty way you have to be sad whatever in order to rewire your mind you have to change the two mindset types so shift from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset. scarcity mindset means that there is not enough you are not enough there is never enough uh, unlucky blah 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 abundance mindset is that there is always enough the universe removed from you an opportunity a job it's because a bigger and better opportunity is coming and awareness is what will make you change once you have awareness it means you can change it okay so once you are knowledge that you have limited beliefs, that you have a scarcity mindset, that the way you think is not good for you, you have to change your thoughts, you have to change your behavior, then you will start manifesting money and you will start attracting money. Your whole energy will change and people money will want to be next to you. If you hang out with the wrong people, you're gonna become a loser. Like attract like. His friend, he had a bunch of friends that they were just smoking and sitting around the couch and doing nothing literally all day. This guy had dreams. Well, they will literally drag him down. If you have a group of friends that they do nothing, nothing all day, they binge watch Netflix and they have no goals, no vision, nothing. And you are the only one who have something and goal for your life. You have to really, really, really think 
what you need to do with your life, like get serious about your life. Because if you hang around with the wrong people, will infect you. Energy is infectious. Words are very powerful. I read this book uh, years ago uh, saying that words are very powerful. Affirmation. One of the best ways to rewire your mind is to go in front of a mirror and repeat to yourself affirmations. Saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. And so this is from Joy Dispenza book. He's really good at explaining this, all about energy. And has this meditation that you just walk as if you are your manifestation. And in this case, if you walk and have the energy not being fake, but having the energy frequently going to places to feel how it is to be wealthy, focus on building yourself. The more valuable you are, the more money you will earn. One thing that I see from millionaires, billionaires is that they have humility. When you have, when you're humble, you have more room to learn. Never think that you can reach perfection, but you can improve yourself every day little by little to become your ideal perfection and you will never be perfect but you should never uh, put your value on your beauty but you should take care of yourself obviously because your appearance is the first thing somebody sees you know like in industries like real estate if you want to work in real estate for example you can go around with the flip-flops and and sell penthouse to dress accordingly so again law of attraction you have to be knowledgeable an investor that wants to buy a penthouse he will not take you seriously you have to put yourself up to the level at the same time don't go down to other people's level i did this so many times i did this so many times people when they feel intimidated by your potential we try everything to make you go to their level don't let this be your situation never downgrade yourself for anyone this is from poor people and rich people and this of course is basically on the way they act and they think so poor people are usually the victims you should be careful of these three types so first one is when they blame literally everyone the government the trees around them their dog their mother father everyone they have the blaming game masters on the blaming game so they victimize themselves and they, whatever happens in their lives about their destiny, their lack, their life, whatever. Second type is the people who are, who say, oh, money is not important. Oh yeah? Try to pay bills with your love. So money is important. The last type, which is people who are complaining. And this is the worst, the worst, the worst. Oh my God, I had a girl, um, had to remove from my life completely. Listen to her. I became really, really irritated of just listening to her. She will complain about literally everything. Most people, they do complain because they confuse attention with love. Most people, they do it because when they were kids, they did not receive the attention they wanted. So they complain in order to get attention, which is love. They believe it's love, but it's not. It's just annoying to complain the whole time so stop it so you have to be careful never blame other people don't complain especially don't complain and don't say that money is not important another thing that i see a lot of people do is that they criticize wealth they say oh this person did this this person did that and they like da -da -da -da. what you criticize will never come to you Careful, do not criticize. This is one of the most biggest blockages for many. Imagine someone that criticizes you, but then wants you. Would you like to be with him? No, I don't think so. So the same with money. So the relationship you have with money has to be healthy. You should never criticize money or people who have wealth. So if you go, like, where I live, there's so much uh, wealth, right? So I go down the street and I see a Ferrari, Lamborghini, whatever, this these luxurious cars. And I'm, okay, I'm used to it now, but... I will say, wow, you know, in the beginning, I will never say, oh, this person, you know, whatever. I'm just going to admire the car. I'm not into this type of cars, obviously. But what I want to say is that you should never feel like envy because envy can block you from getting wealth. Bless them. So when you see someone with wealth, bless them. Tell them, thank you so much for showing me that this is possible. Now I'm going to do it myself. Instead of sitting there and being like, oh, you know, why she has this or why he has this, blah, blah, blah. You should bless them. 
but I'll show you what is possible. Everything is possible. You just need to want it. Think, literally everything. And poverty is a mental illness, really. It's a mental illness. So poor people think that life happens to them while wealthy people think that they create their life. They don't sit there, complain or blame everyone and think like, oh, why life is like that to me? No. There is something that I see common in most of them that the most wealthy, they're never prideful. They're always down to earth. And this is because they are always leaving a room for them to learn, to learn something new. The moment you feel so proudful of who you become, made some money and now, okay, I'm someone, you will stop evolving. That's when you will just be there. So many people do that. And build a valuable network have to start this from very very young listen now you can be 20 years old a person you meet and he or she will invest in your uh, project let's say you have a very brilliant project you want to build a business and you want investment you have to have people that they will invest in you first of all and you have to be a trustworthy person so investor will be more likely to invest in you so this a lot i uh, when you show that you are capable of having a business people will invest in you when you show that you're desperate again money is energy that no one will invest in you because you look desperate so you look like okay i'm the only one that will invest in you from which state you're starting is to understand your money thermostat first thing first second manage your emotions you have to manage your impulsive behavior you have to manage your emotions how much trillions of dollars are you know there's trillions of dollars floating in the world and now we have internet so which means we're digitally communicating doing transactions exchanging uh, information stuff whatever so now we have also cryptocurrencies digital money so you have to learn about this so i know a lot about blockchain this is actually something that I can talk about ages crypto blockchain i can talk about ages so if this is a content that you would like to see in this channel please let me know and i'll do it appears whenever there are humans so you should learn how to use cryptocurrencies because one day they will become a form of payment digital money okay peer to peer peer to peer means from person to person when you send money from one bank to the other bank it's the bank takes commission and then the card issuer takes another commission so there's a lot of hidden fees so when you when i send you crypto and you send me crypto it's just me and you I'll be telling you forever to learn about blockchain all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video that's it from me and i'm going to see you next time i kiss you so much